Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the stable version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop has finally now hit triple digit figures and has become a centurion as version 100 of the Google Chrome web browser started rolling out on the 29th of March 2022. Now with this first triple digit figure update to the browser, there are some new features some changes and a whole lot of bug and security fixes. So I'm going to do this video in two parts. The first one will, the first video will be regarding the features and the second regarding the bug fixes and security updates as the video will just become too long. So let's dive straight in. And the first thing you will see with the new version 100 of the stable channel is you will see this uh, uh, new tab, what's new pop up, um, which says welcome to the 100th release of Chrome and where you can check some of the features in the Google Chrome web browser. So that's the first thing you will see after updating and rebooting your Google Chrome web browser. And what's new in Chrome? Welcome to the 100th release of Google Chrome. And then the second uh, change you are going to see is uh, to celebrate the 100th release. Google has released new icons, which I have posted on previously. And uh, the, this is the, actually the first new icon since 2014. That's what the... Um, Google Chrome icon looked like when it rolled out in 2014. This is what the new icon looks like and obviously this is how it was when the browser was first launched and then it's just progressed very slightly over the last couple of years. Now if we just go to the next screenshot, yeah, we can see these subtle differences in the new icon for Google Chrome. Uh, the blue center dot is a lot larger. The shadows that were there previously now have been removed and the scaling for the colors has just narrowed a little bit so your red green and yellow uh, in the new icon is slightly narrower and those are the subtle changes that you can see now in the new icon that has rolled out for the google chrome web browser so if we just look on my taskbar i can actually see that the especially on the taskbar that the blue dot is actually slightly larger than it was uh, before the update so that's the new icon for google chrome to celebrate the hundredth uh, release of the browser. Now, if you are using uh, the Google Chrome uh, browser on a mobile device like Android, iPhone or iPad, Light Mode, which is a, a data compression, a data saving feature, um, will begin shutting down. And apparently Google says they will begin shutting down their servers that are responsible uh, for the data compression, the Light Mode. And the reason for this is Google says they have seen a decreased in the cost for mobile data in many countries and data saver and light mode will stop working for all versions of chrome now from version 100 so i think that will be met with a bit of debate and controversy in different regions of the world but for android there is no more light mode for google chrome now also another new little feature is uh, we now have new multi-screen window placement apr support which is now available for the desktop version of Google Chrome, which helps web apps detect when someone um, and when you have multiple displays connected. An example of this, though, uh, would be a slideshow app that could uh, display the presentation on one screen while showing uh, the speaker notes on another screen, according to Google. And then um, another uh, little uh, change and actually a new feature which doesn't come by default though is tab muting in the uh, tab bar which is playing audio now this is not a default feature and actually has been come coming and going a little bit uh, in the google chrome web browser and in 2018 apparently google removed tab muting in the tabs but now with version 100 uh, although it's not a default feature you can enable the feature using a flag so if we head up to our omnibox and we just enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags i've already enabled it you just enter tab audio muting ur control and it says when enabled the audio indicators in the tab strip double as tab audio mute controls and that's available for mac windows linux chrome os and fuchsia you change the default setting to enabled you, re you relaunch the browser and once that flag has been applied let's just go quickly and push play you will see there now, I can actually mute the audio. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the audio is muted. You can see there's a little uh, line through the audio indicating that that audio has been muted. So that's a new tab um, 
audio muting feature now available um, not by default but using that flag now in version 100 and then getting back to android um apparently um chrome for android has a confirmation pop-up now for closing all tabs when you're using the uh, a web browser on an android device now if you'd like to see if you have this latest version we just head over to the menu in the top right help about google chrome and the latest version now as mentioned is the first triple digit figure for the uh, desktop version of the browser version 100.0.4896.60 that's the latest version in build for the stable channel for the google chrome web browser now just talking about user agent strings um, apparently Chrome 100 will be the last version to support what they call unreduced user agent strings and basically user agent strings provide information to sites um, and also um, going forward now Google is going to make this a little bit more secure for privacy in the web browser as um, certain sites due to user agent strings can gain um, and build a profile on that browser and on your browsing habits so this is something that's going to change in the future and um, apparently in the future they're going to become more secure and um, as mentioned with version 100 there has been some concern that older websites might break reading it as version 10 and not version 100 and um, going forward now incompatibilities incompatibilities with websites um, uh, that could break um, using version 100 Google is going to be changing the user agent string and at this stage it's a little bit uh, uh, difficult to know exactly how they're going to do that but what they could do is actually just put version 99 before the 100 so it'll be 99.100 or 100.0.0.0 and then go into the build at this stage is not exactly sure what they are going to do but uh, the user agent string, if there are problems going forward after version 100, um, they might change the look and how that actually looks in the version description for the actual version of Google Chrome. But I will keep you posted as to the developments of, the, of that um, user agent string moving forward. And as at this stage, though, there doesn't seem to be any major issues regarding version 100. But as mentioned, I will keep you posted if anything comes to light. So that's the new features and little add-ons and the main key highlights and changes in version 100, which is the first triple digit figure for the Google Chrome web browser. And I will um, post another video shortly regarding the bug fixes and security fixes in version 100. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.